Merry Christmas, Mrs. Moonblood. For Satan's sake, there will be none of that kind of language in here. You watch your mouth. The newspeak has it that you're supposed to say, Happy Holidays. Why isn't it okay to say Merry Christmas? Does anyone know what the origins of Christmas are? Jesus is his birthday? Ew, no. Christmas originated in white supremacy. That's why snow is white. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Jesus' birthday. Uh, Jesus never existed, so that can't be true. I'm pretty sure he did. He that's, oh, hello, wait. That's kind of crazy because... <laughs> Okay, so the title of the video is Public Schools During Christmas Time. So I don't want y'all to think that this video is for real. Obviously, I'm pretty sure y'all would not think that. But I do got a lot of things because this is true. Okay, this is honestly true that this is the way that the schools are going. All right, this exactly the way the schools are going. I'm, I'm actually glad I'm not having a child during this time. But if it, even if I did, I ain't going to lie. I probably want to homeschool them because, bro, the way that public schools are is ridiculous. Okay, it's so woke, bro. It, it, it's it, This was not like this when I was in high school a year ago. I promise you. I swear it was not like this when I was in high school just a year ago. Just a year ago. But anyways, number one, I, Jesus. first of all, Jesus is real. Okay, let, let's, let's get that out there. If people don't believe in Jesus, we can always debate. I would love to have a debate with some of y'all. I promise y'all. I'll be seeing y'all comments. I would love to have a debate. Number two, no, it's not Jesus' birthday on Christmas. Nobody knows when Jesus' birthday really is. Okay, and a lot of people say that Christmas is a pagan holiday, things like that. But Jesus came, you know what I'm saying, died for our sins. We are under a new testament. We are under a new covenant, should I say. But anyways, I want to say this, though. Uh, It's funny how people always say Jesus is not real or, oh, how do we know he's real? real how do we know that he existed it's the same thing that we could say about how do we know that abraham lincoln existed okay so look as i'm editing this i also want to say like abraham lincoln was just the first president that came to my mind like i mean we could say the same thing for george washington the very first president you know what i'm saying so i just want to keep that out there like i'm not saying that abraham lincoln was the first president even though i'm pretty sure some of y'all but i know it's some trolls okay but i'm just saying like abraham lincoln was just the first president but even today he was uh born in 1809 if you was born in 1809, today's day, you would probably be like 200 and some years old, like 12, I think, 212. I don't know, man. I'm not a mathematic genius, but do the math. You'll figure it out. But yeah, anyways, let's get back to the video. Because we read on it in the books. It's in the history books. Jesus are, Jesus is in the history books, okay? Jesus definitely is in the history books. They're not going to, obviously, they're not going to say that he was, oh, the son of God. But he's definitely was a real person. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, just with Abraham Lincoln. If you say that Jesus didn't exist, you could say that Abraham Lincoln did exist. Because how do we know he existed? By the, uh, we know he exists by people who wrote or people who seen Abraham Lincoln during that time. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Jesus. People seen Jesus during that time. Obviously, us today didn't see Jesus and a lot of us today no everybody today did not see Abraham Lincoln because if you see Abraham Lincoln and you are still alive today oh god damn jeez you know boy you know <laughs> how are you even still alive you live through every literally what that's crazy that is freaking crazy but I just wanted to throw that out there but let's finish come on I'm pretty sure it was Jesus' birthday. Uh, Jesus never existed, so that can't be true. I'm pretty sure he did. He died for our sins. Then why am I still sinning all the time? Because uh, we're human. We all still sin. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> we're not robots. We still have a choice to make. We all have free will. We can do whatever we choose to do. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyways. <laughs> There was no Jesus. Do you believe in God? Uh, no. Why not? Why do you think I don't believe in God? I I is it because not doing so allows you to justify how you try to control everyone around you based on your lust for power that you mostly derive from constant self-victimization? That gets expressed through ideological demands that intimidate the people around you into altering their behavior, which then gives you the feeling that you're their higher power? Uh, no. It, don't be silly. I don't believe in God because the idea that someone from above is watching over you all the time and cares about you and you're supposed to rely on them for your every need, it's just not realistic. It's just a fantasy. Isn't that what communism promises to do? Well, it's different with our beloved communism. But the point is, class, it's not okay to say Merry Christmas because only second-class citizens called conservatives celebrate Christmas. So when you say, Merry Christmas, it can offend the first-class citizens. 
That's why you're supposed to say, Happy Holidays. But based on your rationale of not wanting to offend people, saying Happy Holidays could be very offensive to people who aren't happy. Yeah, it would be very uninclusive to depressed people. Fine, then... To be more inclusive, just say holidays. But Bro, I love this. The reason I love it, because it's so true. And I love the fact that uh, he's dressed up as a drag queen. That's what kills me. Like, that's why I'm laughing. Like, what he's saying is funny, but at the same time, it's just like, he's dressed up as a drag queen, which is crazy. Because, like, I don't know how long drag queens been a thing, but it just seemed like in 2022, it's like they just drag queen shows and they're showing kids this and showing kids that and they're naked and all these it's just crazy okay it's honestly crazy but it's funny to me how this man is dressed up as a drag queen and he's literally stating the truth this is the truth this is how schools are going to be in the next couple years i kid you not because the way that they're going right now i promise you it's going to stay this way these schools are going to stay being woke okay they go they go brainwash kids to thinking that oh it's this when it's really not this you know what i'm saying like even talking about, oh, if there's no God, there's no high power. I just think it's silly on how, like, that's really how teachers really be talking. And it's funny to me. I feel like you are a fool if you say there's no God. I feel like that that's just foolish talk. It's not about, oh, it's a, it's a higher being, a bunch of them above us. It's not even about that. Who you think create the skies? Who you think create the freaking birds? Like, I mean, this stuff didn't just pop up here. And if you even say the Big Bang Theory is a freaking actual real thing, you are stupid. It literally states in the sentence, Big Bang Theory. Do you know what a theory is? Oh, theory. I mean, it's literally like, you can't even say that. You literally can't even say that. So, I mean, seriously, it's like they took the Big Bang Theory and just, you know what I'm saying? They took it and it replaced it onto what God said in Genesis. God said, let there be light. There was light. The Big Bang Theory. What was it? A big explosion. There, boom, light. Everything. Like, I mean, seriously, they just took the Big Bang Theory and God's words and just swap it around. I'm just saying the real, bro. I'm just saying the real. And I would love to debate some of y'all. I promise you. I will get you. But saying holidays could be offensive to people who don't celebrate any holidays. Well, uh... Well, perhaps a more feasible alternative is for us to simply say what's authentic to us rather than self-censoring while succumbing to a compelled speech in an effort to modulate what emotions other people are experiencing and therefore leaving the responsibility of someone else's feelings with them while retaining the sovereignty and dignity of our own being. Uh, don't be immature. It, it's okay to say happy holidays, because I said so. But that leaves the rather large community of people who aren't experiencing any happiness very unincluded. Alright, just stop using my logic against me. It is very disrespectful to my authority over you. It sounds like we should just stop asking questions and obediently do as we're told. Now that is absolutely correct, Lisa. You've earned yourself another hammer and sickle obedient award. Now, we're gonna play some fun holiday games. Let's go around the room and share what our number one gift is that we're wishing for this year. Jason? I want a toy dump truck. Uh, that is incorrect. No, that's what I want. Uh, no. That's just what our bigoted society has programmed you to think you want in order to get you to conform to gender norms that are frivolously based on what's normal. What you really want is some Barbie dolls and makeup, right? No, not at all. Uh, are you saying you hate little boys who do want those things? No. Yes, you are. So let me ask you again. Would you rather get some Barbie dolls, makeup, and a clitoris piercing? I think you just added that last one, but no, that's not what I want. Jason, would you like me to report you to the principal's office for committing a hate crime? No. Then tell me what gift you really- Man, the kids, the, the kids and- the kids nowadays are doomed. I swear, they are doomed, bro, from... Like, I'm listening to it, and I'm like, dang, like, I know it's a comedy skit. It, it's supposed to be funny, but it's some seriousness in this, and it's honestly sad for the kids that actually go to schools that teachers teach these things. I mean, they got the LGBTQ books in schools and things like that. It's, it's just honestly also weird to me how we can... They, they say don't don't talk about religion in school because it could be offensive but then they talk about lgbtq like that's not offensive at all you know what i'm saying i'm just saying but that's just funny to me how oh we can't talk about religion and talk about the things that are real and things that should matter in everybody's life because i mean it's the truth it's it's literally the truth but then we talk about lgbtq and that's perfectly fine because we need to learn how to accept people but don't we also need to learn how to accept people religions too i'm just saying you know what i'm saying 
But everybody, I mean, this is seriously how schools are. And it's it's not funny, but it's funny on the way that he's doing it. But it's not funny because it's like, dang, like, it's really what's happening in schools right now. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Really want. Okay, I really want a Barbie doll, some makeup, and a Brontosaurus piercing. Clitoris piercing, yes, that's the correct answer. Wow, class, look how brave Jason is. Pat? What gift would you like? I would like to have a personalized drag show performed for me with the most talented sex offenders as dancers. What a great gift. And yes, I would be happy to be one of the dancers. Thank you for asking. Now, the gift I would most like. Uh, teacher, you skipped me. This isn't about you, Lisa. The gift I most want is a new set of genitals. But didn't you get new genitals last year? I did, and that permanent change was great, but it turns out I'm not a woman trapped inside of a man's body anymore. So you're going back to being a man again? No, not at all. I'm progressing forward to being a man that's trapped inside of a woman's body that's trapped inside of a man's body. Kind of Russian doll-like effect. How will that work with the surgeries you've already had done? Should work out really well. It's kind of like when you have a good meal, afterwards you have leftovers. And then after you've had the leftovers for a while, they start to spoil. That's when it's time to make a new, fresh dish from those leftovers. Uh, with the old school board being voted out, I thought you weren't allowed to talk about your sexuality with us anymore. You're mine! I'll do what I want with you. My dad said he'd report you if you do. Tell your dad to suck my dick. Which one should I tell him to suck? <laughs> the one I'm getting right after the new- Bro! I wish Kiss was actually this funny and smart, bro. I really wish Kiss was actually this funny and smart. But they're not. They're just going to go along with everything that the teacher says. I'm just saying. But I wish they was this funny and smart. <laughs> Which one should I tell them to suck? <laughs> bro. You weren't allowed to talk about your sexuality with us anymore. You're mine. I'll do what I want with you. My dad said he'd report you if you do. Tell your dad to suck my dick. Which one should I tell him to suck? The one I'm getting right after the new year. Okay, I will let him know. Now let's play a little holiday trivia. Who can tell me what I'm describing? Someone is always watching you, determining if you're being naughty or nice. And if you're being a good little Zemmerzer, you get gifts. And if you're being bad, no gifts for you. Santa Claus? No. A digital ID and social credit score? That's correct. What's a digital ID and social credit score? Well, you know how the story of Santa Claus has it that he's always watching over children determining if they're being naughty or nice. And if they're being good, he rewards those children with gifts. But if they're being bad, he punishes them by withholding gifts. Yeah? Well, the digital ID and social credit score system is a way to make adults into the children of that story. When are they gonna start that? They already have. You just don't know it. Well, class, this has been a great lesson. I hope you enjoy the holiday break. And when you come back, I'll look forward to undoing all the negative influence your parents had on you over the break. And a great way to start that will be learning your multiplication tables using anal beads. Happy holidays. What the freak, bro? Hold on, wait, it's more? Hey there, my friend. This is Penny. Now it's- oh, Okay, this is the end of the video. All right. Um, <laughs> y'all, I seriously love this video. Like, it, 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 it's true behind what he's doing right now. It's literally truth. Although the video was a comedy sketch, whatever, but it's still truth behind it because this is what the public schools are turning to. You know what I'm saying? It's sad, but- this is the world that we come into. We have we have made it okay for teachers to talk about their sexuality. We have made it okay for LGBTQ books to be in the schools. We have made it okay to choose what a man, well, what a little boy or a little girl cho uh, wants to be. We have made it okay to uh, allow not allow them to pick their sexuality or go through our life to see what do they like. Do they do, are they aiming towards boys? Are they aiming towards girls? Girls and girls, boys and boys, boys and girls, girls and boys, whatever. Y'all get it. We we made it okay for them to even not even choose who they would like to be with because parents, teachers, these woke teachers, these woke parents, they just just choose for them. It's like 
no point in having a, a gender reveal anymore if we can't, you know what I'm saying, if these parents or teachers not allowing these kids to just have their free will and choose wherever they choose to be when they grow up. Nah, they got them changing freaking sex. Uh, they got them changing sex. Sex changes at freaking two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just kid ages. Where they supposed to be playing with toys and enjoying being a kid, enjoying being who they are, who God created them to be. But nah, we... We, we made it so okay for them to do that thing. So I, I love the fact that he actually brought this to light, you know what I'm saying, in a funny way, you know what I'm saying, in a funny way. But, again, it's always truth behind what is everything. Everything he said is nothing but straight truth. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Public schools during Christmas time. <laughs> that man said, which, <laughs> which one should I tell him to suck? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, sorry. That took me out. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. And if you want to have a debate about God, hey, <laughs> hey, I need y'all to go ahead and comment up because look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna stand for my Lord and my Lord and Savior. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I may not know know a lot, but trust and believe me, I know enough. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.